right, everyone. So let's talk about single family home sales for 2019 in our area. Now, what I did here is I took every uh, city, Myrtle Beach, Surfside, Myrtle Island, and so on, and I looked at the number of single family homes that were sold in that area. And then I also looked at the percentage of resale versus new construction. And that should give you Hey everyone, hope you are all doing well. We've been hearing a lot of different things from the media, a lot of articles and things seem to be escalating, uh, but we don't know that yet. Uh, we're just hearing different news and I hope you all are taking all the measures that we know to uh, prevent anything from getting any worse. Um, I hope you guys stay happy and healthy until this shakes off hopefully very soon and um yeah just in terms of real estate before we start the show i wanted to give you a little update i have been looking at numbers <clears throat> for this quarter we're not done with a quarter yet of course but i'm looking at numbers january february march and then the last three to four weeks and comparing them with 2019 and in comparison, the numbers are really good. Uh, we're doing a lot better than 2019. Sales are up. Um, and um, prices, of course, are still strong and steady. So I know buyers now are excited, although uh, all this is happening with the coronavirus, but uh, the rates are low. So if you wanted to buy a home, this is a good time. And uh, for, for homeowners, it is a good time as well because the market is still strong. Prices are still up. Nothing has dropped yet. We're still doing very well. So I hope you all are taking care of yourselves. And I thank you all for watching. And um, let's begin. Enjoy the show a better idea of what's going on uh, around town. So for Myrtle Beach, we had 3,566 homes sold for 2019 and 65% of that were resales. So almost half, almost half of that is new construction. And 3,500 is a lot of homes. In comparison with the rest of uh, the cities or towns around Myrtle Beach, Surfside, for example, had 469 homes uh, sold and 90% of that were resale. So not too much of new construction going on there in comparison. Merrill's Inlet has 614 transactions and 70% of that were resales or homes that were already um, lived in or are being resold. Um, North Myrtle Beach and Cherry Grove, 614 homes, and 70% of that were resales. And then we have Longs and Little River area. Longs had 439 sales in 2019, and the number of resales were 62%. So very close to Myrtle Beach. Of course, the number of sales is much smaller. Um, Little River had 649 uh, homes, single family homes sold for 2019, and the percentage was 51% resales. I want to thank you very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.